Hello everyone and welcome back to my videos. Hold on, making sure I don't have hot tamales in my teeth. Okay, today I'm going to be filming the Best of Beauty 2013. Now keep in mind, I didn't start getting into makeup until like late 2012 and I know we're talking about 2013. But I'm saying that because I didn't really buy a lot of makeup. I mean, I bought quite a bit because my collection has definitely grown. But... It was, like, I didn't really find much. So some stuff, like, some categories, you know, don't have something. So I'm sorry about that. But I will be doing a um, Best of Beauty 2013 Nails and Random. So that'll probably go, up, like, right after this. Probably upload them on the same day or whatever. So let's just get started so we can do this quick and get over with. Um, so Best Primer. I don't have anything for primer because I can't actually wear a primer. The first primer I tried out was the Rimmel one. And it broke me out, and I tried out the professional, and it broke me out. I think I'm allergic to silicone. I don't know. Okay, so best foundation. Um, and by the way, do keep in mind I haven't used all of this stuff throughout the whole year. Some of it may have been the middle, some of it may have been three months ago, but I know I, I love it. Some stuff, you know, I might have been using. Okay, so best foundation. I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Oh, my eyes twitching. Okay. L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I love this foundation, although it does oxidize, so I need to get a shade lighter since I haven't been wearing it because of that, but this foundation is great for dry skin. It has the perfect luminosity to it. Yeah, luminosity. It's not too shiny. It's not like, okay, I don't see any Lumi in it, so I really, really like this foundation, and I would recommend it for dry skin people or, or normal. Then I have the, which I just recently found maybe like at the end of the month, this, or a month, so I'm sorry about that. But this is the CoverGirl CG Smoothers BB Cream. I love this stuff. I think it broke, it's breaking me out though. But I absolutely love it. It is amazing. I had this like in the beginning of the year and I hated it. Absolutely hated it. It smelled disgusting. It, I don't know, it just wasn't that great. But I guess letting it sit made it become better. Because all of a sudden, like, my Maybelline BB cream, it oxidizes so much on me now. So I tried this out again, and, and love, it makes your skin look so flaw. No, not so flawless, because you need, like, high coverage. But it has light coverage, but I don't know. It does something, okay? <laughs> all right, next is Best Concealer. So I have two, um, one that's actually, like, pretty much a dupe, you could say. Um, this one is the Maybelline Fit Me, which I used way before the MAC one. Pretty much the whole year, except for maybe four or five months ago, <clears throat> I stopped using it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have it in the shade Fair, which if I do use this again, because I actually have tried it out again, and it looked terrible. I guess I got a little bit darker than, uh, than what I was in the beginning, because this looks like straight up white on me. So I need to go a shade up or something. But it's a really nice concealer. It It's not like high coverage. It's really liquidy. So keep that in mind. But it's super blendable. You can see it's really light. Um, so, yeah. But I really like this concealer. You can get it at the drugstore. It's a great price. Um, so, yeah. And then it's a dupe, I would say, for the MAC Pro Longwear. Um, not the actual shade, but, you know, just the formula of it. I have it in NW20. I use this for underneath the eyes, on my skin, because it's really not lighter than my skin. It's maybe half a shade lighter. So I can use it on my pimples or whatever and then just put powder and I look fine. Um, I love this concealer. It's the same formula as that pretty much. It's the same consistency, except this one just has a pump, which is all dirty. Sorry about that. But I love this concealer. I totally recommend it to anyone. Okay. Do, 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 do. Powder. So I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. This is in the shade Transparent. I hit pan on this like two or three days ago, which was which I was super excited about. So, um, anyways, I don't know who else gets excited about hitting pan on stuff. Because I've only hit pan on something, like a makeup-wise, twice in my life of using makeup. It's actually quite a bit, but I don't know. I, I'm so excited. Okay, so best powder. It's super finely milled. In, um, they don't have a lot of shades, so you kind of have to, you know. 
That's why I go with transparent because, you know, it doesn't give a lot of coverage. It just keeps you matte. But if you're dry, you know, you have dry skin, um, it doesn't, like, cling to the dry patches. So that's what I like about it. Then I have the, oh, for bronzer, I have Hula Benefit or Benef Benefit Hula or Hula by Benefit. Sorry, okay. This is a beautiful bronzer. I got this kind of at the end of the year. Yeah, I did. Um, freaking gorgeous. It is the perfect bronzer. It has no orange tones to it whatsoever. It's amazing. It's just amazing. It's super creamy. It blends beautifully into the skin. Um, highlighter, I have nothing because um, I have, I mean, I have a couple, but they're not like, oh my gosh, like, I have to share it with you guys, you know? And then I have brows, which I don't have anything because they don't fill in my brows or anything because, you know, oops, hold on. My napkin fell. Because I don't feel like I need to. And then eyeliner, I have um, Maybelline Eye Studio in Black is Black. I like gel eyeliner personally. I think it's a lot more easier for a beginner to use because um, you have more control over the brush you're using, how you're applying it, and stuff like that. Um, I just like this, it's a really black, super rich black, stays all day, does not transfer, does not, like, go into the cracks of your eyelids, nothing like that. It's perfection. Okay, mascara, I have two mascaras. Um, I actually just ran out of this one, I need to pick up a new one. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, just in the water-resistant formula, but this is great if you want length. It's not going to give you any volume, but if you want length with no clumps, Sorry, there's a bug. <laughs> this mascara is amazing. So I'm sorry if you can see that bug. Um, really like this mascara. Then, if you want volume, but just a little bit of length, this is the Coverall Lash Blast Volume. This mascara is wonderful. I stopped using it for a while throughout the year, and then I came back to it because I just forgot about how much I loved it. It's a really thick um, rubberized bristle wand, but it is fabulous. Love it. Okay eyeshadow palettes so I have two um first one is the Urban Decay Naked Basics which I got mm, probably in the beginning of the year probably <coughs> so it just has six shades this is like my holy grail eyeshadow palette I don't think I've ever I mean I've done a I usually have to bring this when I go traveling with me I have to use this in a look or else I just feel not complete like I did something wrong I freaking love this palette it's so wonderful the okay, next one I haven't had for long, probably had for a month or two, but it is so amazing, guys. It is the Lorac Pro. Just like the Naked Basics, it's great for a beginner. It has all the shades you're really ever going to need as a beginner. Um, it's just perfection. It has all your mattes on the top row, all your, you know, shimmery satin finished ones. It's freaking amazing. The, the quality of these eyeshadows are fantastic. Um, I'm gonna do, do ah, I'm gonna be doing a review on this palette soon. Um, I've just been still testing it out. The oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Okay, let's leave it at that. Okay, lip liners or lip pencils is I only have one. I didn't. I don't know. I don't. I only have like three different brands, and this one's by far my favorite because it's super creamy, super pigmented, doesn't dry out your lips. It is the Jordana Easy Liner for lips. This is in the shade of ba Baby Berry. I'm sorry if I'm talking weird today. I don't know. Love that. Super creamy. Beautiful. Okay, for lipstick. Three one. I have three. Or actually, no. I have two. I'm going to take that one out. I was thinking about it the whole video. I have MAC Cream Cup. And the only thing I don't like about this lipstick is the formula. Other than that, it's an amazing color. Oh my gosh. Like, I have to make sure my lips have a no chapness to this one, I'm aware. Just a beautiful pinky nude. It's just, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I love it. Okay, and then I have the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Bomb in Plum Twist or 260. Ooh. Oh, I've used it that much. Um, it's just a beautiful purpley shade right there. I used it, like, the whole time during the fall and winter. I love the formula, though, super creamy, it doesn't, it lasts long for something, you know, that's, that kind of formula. And then I have lip gloss, which of course are my NYX butter glosses, I freaking love these. I actually have on one right now, it's kind of gone though, because I did a video, ah! because I did a video before this, um, 
But what I did have on was creme brulee. It's just the formula of these lip glosses. If you hate lip glosses because of the stickiness, these are amazing. They have a little bit of tackiness to them because then they're just not going to last at all. But they're just, oh, they're perfection, guys. I love them. So this is Maple Blondie right there, and that's creme brulee. It's just gorgeous, beautiful shades. They last so long on the lips. Okay. Last thing, I just thought I'd tr throw in a chapstick. This is the Noya Kosher Natural Cherry Lip Balm. I love this. I got this in an Itsy bag a couple months back, and it is wonderful. Wonderful. If you want to put, like, a matte lipstick over your lips, but you don't want to have them dry, you know how you put on some lip balms and then the, lips just kind of, the lipstick just kind of slips off? No. I don't know what it does, but it's not waxy or, like, slippery. I don't know. But I gotta go, guys. Oh, my stomach hurts. I'm like out of breath. Huh. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Um, what's the next one? Oh, never mind. Bye.